Welcome to the Alabama A&M Football Review. Highlights, features, and analysis with head coach Connell Maynard. Brought to you by Datacom Solutions, Fellowship of Faith, and Huntsville Hospital. Bulldog fans, welcome to the Alabama A&M Football Review. Good evening and welcome to the Alabama A&M Football Review with head coach Connell Maynard. I'm Ted Dixie. Coach, right off the top, congratulations. Your first season on the Hill, a winning record, 6-5, and five, completed with a victory at Mississippi Valley State yesterday, 42-14. Thank you, Ted. Uh, I got to give credit to my coaches. I want to thank those guys. Uh, offense coordinator Dwayne Taylor, defense coordinator Mark DeBastiani, and the rest of the coaching staff for doing a great job all year long, getting those guys prepared. And I want to thank the seniors for leading these guys and the young guys and buying in and uh, doing everything we asked them to do. And uh, these are the type of results you get. I mean, it's just a, a small sample size of, of what's to come. And of course, Coach, you're talking about what's to come. Yesterday, we saw seniors leave, and we saw some freshmen get an opportunity to play for the Bulldogs. And we'll have a look at the first half highlights when we come back on the Alabama A&M Football Review with head coach Connell Maynard. Hello, I'm Fester Troy. The game of football is a lot like the game of life. You have to tackle your problems and block your fears. I just want you to know there is victory in Jesus. I want to invite you to worship with us at one of our anointed services at our Huntsville campus or our Madison campus. At the Fellowship of Faith, Jesus is exalted and the word is explained. We love Alabama A&M. Go Bulldogs! Darrell brings new energy to the power plant. Julian's accounting is by the numbers. There's student interns from the College of Business and Public Affairs at Alabama A&M University, where marketing class connects with the community and companies come to recruit. So while Kyle strengthens his managerial skills, he's earning a business degree and experience at Alabama A&M University. Start here, go anywhere. 90.9 WJAB-FM Huntsville. 100,000 watts, 24 hours a day. Smooth jazz and cool vocals. I'm just a prisoner of love. I get misty just holding your hand. 90.9 WJAB. From the campus of Alabama A&M University. Parker is 29 and learning to communicate again. The students teaching him earn a degree with 100% job placement. But the real reward is changing a life. At Alabama A&M, it's a university where agencies actually go to recruit compassionate students who help themselves by helping others. Service is sovereignty at Alabama A&M University. Start here, go anywhere. Welcome back and thank you for watching the Alabama A&M Football Review with head coach Connell Maynard. I'm Ted Dixie. Coach, your last game of the season, the Bulldogs venturing through the rice paddies down in the Mississippi Delta, and you get the Delta Devils, but the game's at 11 o'clock, not 1 o'clock. Yeah, they moved it up two hours because of uh, volleyball championships was there, and so they had a lot going on and needed a lot of personnel to help out in that volleyball game, so they moved it up. So, um, you know, it was early start, but... Uh, something we weren't used to, but we got used to. <laughs> Quickly, Coach, as we see the coin toss to open the game, Coach Valley comes out, and I'll just, spoiler alert, they score first in the ball game, Coach, and what are you thinking about? Uh, just, you know, getting the guys to settle down. Like you say, it's an early game, uh, 11 o'clock game, two hours before we normally play, and uh, as you see Dylan Hamilton right there putting a good lick on there, and uh, he played that way all year long, not just yesterday. That's right, Dylan Hamilton, a senior on the Bulldogs. Yep. You got to replace him now, Coach. Yeah, we got to replace Dylan. We got to we got to get a couple safeties in here. Uh, probably get a couple freshmen and uh, go one JUCO or transfer safety, and uh, sure up that position. And now the Bulldogs with a possession here. Glass rolling the pocket, Coach. We saw a lot more movement from him and a great pass and catch downfield. Yeah, that was a little bootleg right there, and he hit the uh, drag, 
here's Trayvon Walters, a senior running back that um, we got to replace him also. So, um, you know, we got a few guys to replace, but we'll be fine. We got the majority of the team coming back. Good day for football. And here's what we call Reggie Benson, our color analyst, called a sprint draw. That's it, a sprint draw. That's exactly what it is. And there's a great pass to the middle of the field, wide open. I believe that's Marcellus Clash. That is catch. another, another senior, senior. A great guy with great hands. I don't think he dropped the ball all year and uh, just does everything we asked him to do. He's a deep pass to Xavier Moore for the touchdown. Uh, it's a good release, good throw by uh, Glass there to get us on the board. Zabrian didn't do this early in the season, Coach, as one of your coaches remarked before the game, if you flip your schedule, you play a lot better in the beginning of the season. Yeah, you know, it's, uh, you know we tell the guys, freshmen aren't freshmen anymore, sophomores aren't sophomores anymore. And Zay, um, you know, he's, he's playing like a, a vet now, and uh, that's what we need out of him. Good job by Zabrian Moore. The Bulldogs get on the board, and now you breathe a sigh of relief on the broadcast, Coach. With that early start, we saw a little bit of sluggishness on our side, but Valley looked like they were ready to play, but when you just won one game in the season. Yeah, you know, you got to just stay the track, you know, keep doing the little things, understand that seven points not going to beat us, and uh, we just got to settle down, make plays, one play at a time, one drive at a time, and uh, continue to score. And now the Bulldog defensive line, we got pushed down the field a little bit in the first quarter, Coach, and then the end of the first quarter, second quarter, the defensive line shows up. Yeah, yeah, that's a good high-low right there on the quarterback. That's why he didn't complete that pass. You know, it's hard to throw balls and complete passes with pressure on you in your face. And Desmond Fletcher, who played outstanding yesterday, Coach, batting down the ball. He did. Fletcher had a great game, and he's improving uh, game by game, and he's a much better player than he was week one. And then we see Trayvon Walters with another carry. The Bulldogs are now starting to get what you want. Yeah, we're starting to ground and pound them a little bit and uh, four or five yards a clip and just – uh, lean on him and wear him down. His outside zone here by Bentley. Um, didn't get much there, but again, got a late hit uh, on Bentley and got a first down. And here's Walters again at our hammer formation. The hammer formation. Two tight two ends, okay. two backs, no receivers. Take the little guys like you, put them on the sideline, Ted. <laughs> and of course, the Bulldogs with the replay here. Trayvon Walters getting in the end zone. Two touchdowns on the day. Jordan Bentley had three, Coach, and we'll see a long run later because I have a question to ask you about that. Okay. Yeah, Trayvon, was. it's nice for him to finish his senior year with two touchdowns and um, his, his senior year's last, last collegiate game, and that's a great way to go out right there, man, scoring two touchdowns as a senior. I wish we could have got clash in the end zone, mm. uh, but we didn't, and it's okay. We don't really play for stats. We play for one stat. That's the W. And now Bulldogs up 14-7. to seven. And this is where it gets interesting. Yurik Bethune, who leads the Southwestern Athletic Conference in sacks and tackles for loss, and he comes up big here. Yeah, he does. He's been doing it all year long. He's a beast, man. It's hard to block that guy one-on-one. -on -one, so, um, you know, you roll him the dice. You, know, you try to block him one-on-one. -on -one, he going to make a play. And here's Williams <clears throat> with a fine defensive catch. Did you see that spin? Did you see that spin? <laughs> Can we running? run this one back? That's Goodness a gracious, oh my. I mean, he beat him so fast, man. And that's what you want from a defensive end. Yeah, man, you saw it, man. I mean, that's like, <laughs> seriously, dude. And the Bulldogs get the turnover. Yeah, I think you might have been out there left tackle right there, T. A turnstile, huh, Coach? Yeah. So, Here's another interesting formation to offset eye for you. Yeah, that's a little sprint out. And uh, Clash, again, making the catch. I think we had the guy wide open behind him, but quarterback had somebody at his feet and had to get rid of the ball. So. Well, it's senior day. You got to feed the seniors. Yeah. As yeah. your Bethune eats again. Yeah, your Bethune out there eating, man. <laughs> We say let's eat before the game, and he was eating. And now Glass, three-step drop, good ball down the middle of the field. Yeah, here's a little Jenkins. Uh, and Coach Jenkins, now you said this earlier in the season that the running backs don't have breakaway speed, but neither one of them have been caught so far this season. Trayvon's been caught. <laughs> Trayvon's been caught. Bentley hasn't been caught. There's another great run right there by Bentley on the sprint draw. It's a great football play. That sprint draw, you're trying to get out there to get that quarterback, and you overplay it. And we slipped mm -hmm. the draw in there, and, uh, you know, that's, that's a great football play. Did you put that in during the season, or that's training camp? Oh, that's training camp. That's something. That's a bread and butter play for us. We've been running for eight years, and mm -hmm. got a lot of other teams running it now. And it, run, and it works against any kind of defensive front? Uh, yeah, well, you know, the, the key is when you try to stop us from sprinting out. You're trying to get to the sideline, mm -hmm. and then you're just slipping in behind guys. They overrun it. So that's why, that's why it's such a great play. It's, it's hard to prepare for, hard to stop. Spencer Corey getting that lead work in. Here it is Bulldogs again. up 21 to 7. 
to seven. You see that at that time, the quarterback didn't give a good look. That guy didn't take the, he didn't bite on the quarterback there. So we got to do a better job of him selling it. And here's Glass again. Another fine pass over the middle. Xavier Moore again. Yep, Xavier Moore had a big game. That's Glass getting warmed up now. That's a, that was a good pass there. And now Moore will be back next year, folks. And yeah, another great ball down the middle, and we thought we were going to get in the end zone, Xavier. Come on, man. <laughs> he don't want to touch that. He want to give it to the back. He want to give it to Trayvon or Bentley. That's what it was, looking out for him on senior yeah, day. Yeah, he's looking out for Bentley. You know, look at it. And, of course, another touchdown. Bulldogs will go up 28-7 to at the half, Coach. And with this extra point again, you have to be thinking, Coach, that you're going to have an opportunity to get some other student athletes in the ball game. Yeah, we were. We were thinking that, and uh, – we told the guys, let's see if we can't get Trayvon another touchdown and then get uh, Bentley and uh, Coral some carries and then get them other guys uh, uh, some carries in the fourth quarter and get the third and fourth quarter back in there and get the second lineman and get the fourth and third receivers in there. So, no, we, Coach, we, you're going to finish. The, you're gonna, sorry, you're going to open up that roster going out with a bang. But now, how deep do you think about going in in – letting people play on Saturday? Do you think we're going to see four stringers? Did you say everybody on the bus is going to get a chance? Yeah, you know, we always, you know, say uh, for the starters, go out and do their job and um, and make plays early and get these other guys that practice and, and deserve opportunity to play, opportunity to play. You know, I'm not one of those coaches that keep my start in the game in the third, late in the third, fourth mm -hmm. quarter when the game is out of control. You take a chance on getting that guy hurt. Uh, number one, it, it won't benefit him or us by him getting hurt in the, when the game is out of control. so And also you want to develop other players. So you want to get those guys a chance to play in a game situation. There's nothing like a game situation. Mm -hmm. You can't develop them in practice like you can playing in a game. Live uh, referees, people in the stands. So um, anytime we get that chance, we want to do it. And of course, we'll take a look at how those student athletes performed in the second half highlights here on the Alabama A&M Football Review with head coach Connell Maynard. <laughs> Hello, I'm Pastor Troy. The game of football is a lot like the game of life. You have to tackle your problems and block your fears. I just want you to know there is victory in Jesus. I want to invite you to worship with us at one of our anointed services at our Huntsville campus or our Madison campus. At the Fellowship of Faith, Jesus is exalted and the word is explained. We love Alabama A&M. Go Bulldogs! <laughs> Engineering and science usually look like this, but our students build race cars from the ground up, explore wind tunnels, particle accelerators, and crystal growth. Our studies in cybersecurity and rocket propulsion have tech companies like Google and SpaceX recruiting at Alabama A&M University with one of the highest percentages of women STEM graduates in the country. Alabama A&M University. Start here. Go anywhere. 90.9 WJAB FM Huntsville 100,000 watts 24 hours a day Smooth jazz and cool vocals Give it all to me Give my all to you 90.9 FM WJAB For the campus of Alabama A&M University Companies hunger for our food scientists. Here, a new generation manages our cities of tomorrow. The discovery of hardier plants, healthier animals, is growing at our research station. Alabama A&M University, where new designs and ideas are put to the test. Be a researcher in our labs, or a forestry fire dog in our fields. Alabama A&M University. Start here. Go anywhere. Welcome back and thank you for watching the Alabama A&M Football Review with head coach Connell Maynard. I'm Ted Dixie. Coach, a special happy birthday greeting to Pastor Troy Garner, who's your team chaplain. Yeah, we're on um, today's birthday and 
we kind of sung it to him yesterday on the trip, and then we're going to go to church uh, this morning and uh, celebrate it with him. Of course. And, of course, the Bulldogs getting ready for the second half, Coach. Lots of things on your agenda, from substituting players to keeping up with the red shirts to even giving people an opportunity who've never been on the field before to see what they can do. Yeah, we wanted to uh, get off to a fast start here the second half, kind of put the game out of control, and then let all the other players play they ain't been used to. And we was able to do that. We played four-string quarterbacks, uh, third-string wide receivers and DBs. And here we go right now coming back out on the field for the second half. And uh, I think Brian Jenkins is going to do something a little special here. And of course, Valley's going to kick off the Bulldogs, won the toss and deferred to the second half. And now let's see what you do with the squib kick. Yep, this is Brian Jenkins taking across field, cuts up field. Oh, he got a chance. He got an alley. I thought he was he gone, Coach. could go all the way, and he stopped and jukes, and he's stopped at the one. <laughs> so, I'll tell you what. He's from Florida, man. I told him he must be from Florida County. <laughs> He's not from Florida, because Florida boys don't get caught. You know, I told him, did you hear him? Whoop, whoop. In Florida, when you get walked, they go whoop. Oh, whoop. really? Yeah, so I asked him, did you hear him? <laughs> the police behind him. The guys in track, when you're getting walked, they go whoop, whoop, the people in the stands. Wow. So I asked him, did you hear the whoops? He, see, he's shamed right now. Look at him. See how he running away from everybody? Look, uh, he know they own him. Look, they going to get on him. Look, he, I don't want to hear it. Great job with the camera work, Julian French. We appreciate your work this season. And, of course, Coach, you get a big return, but you're down inside the five-yard line and get an opportunity to play a little power football. Yeah, we want to get Trayvon that ball here and, and, uh, and let him get another touchdown his senior year so he can go out and have a great year. He, he's led us, worked hard, did everything we asked him to do. And so he had a great year this year, and uh, I was glad he was on my team. Being respectful of Mississippi Valley State, Coach, they did not stop. The second half of the game, we saw a lot of licks passed, a lot of sco points scored, but the officials had to curb the play a bit. <clears throat> yeah, you know, those guys live frustrated. You know, it's been a long season for them, and it's senior day, and, and they're getting, you know, taken to the woodshed a little bit. And, you know, they got a little frustrated. It, it happens in the heat of the moment. And, you know, we just got to keep cool heads and understand that that's going to happen and don't react. And, uh, you know, it takes two people to fight. Mm -hmm. So if we just keep our head and stay calm, we'll be fine. And of course, we see another freshman, number 57, Marcus Cushney, who made a fine tackle on special teams. Yeah, Cushney's coming around. You know, he's going to be a, a pretty good player here, we think. Uh, if he keep working hard and, and just buy in and watch his weight and, and keep learning, uh, he got a chance to be real good. And here the Bulldogs react on the defensive line and almost get an interception. Yeah, what you call took that from Mike. Right there, Mike would have had a pick six. You know, he put one hand up. He didn't know he was back there. But if he wanted to touch that ball, Mike would have caught that and scored. And here's Trayvon cutting back. Just run as hard as he can, like he does every play, man. Uh, and uh, he knows he got probably two or three carries left in his career, so he's mm -hmm. running as hard as he can. And here's another one just short of the first down here. And then I think right here, this is Jenkins on his fly sweep. And if he cuts outside, Coach. Yeah, his, his daddy was yelling outside, and uh, <laughs> he cut inside. So he beginning. might get a spanking. Well, I know at the end of the day, I asked Coach Jenkins, I said, how did your son get caught? He said, that didn't get it from me. He got that from his mom. <laughs> uh, he always talking about DNA. I told him, that's your DNA. Here's Jordan Bentley does what he does. He started up the Bentley, and he's off and running. You talk about DNA, Another Coach. Touchdown. That's a couple of sales I want right there. Jordan Bentley with a fine touchdown. Again, he doesn't get caught, Coach. No, he don't. He don't. It's only uh, 42 yards, Ted. <laughs> You know, it's hard to get caught 42 yards, man. So. And a big shout to the offensive line, offensive line coach Keith Wagner, man. Y'all opened some real holes yesterday. Yeah, they did. Uh, you know, they didn't have nobody in the middle of the football field here. And, uh, you know, we was able to gash them. And anytime you do that, it, when they got them all up in the line of scrimmage, you get through that first line of scrimmage, mm -hmm. Katie bar the door. And uh, that's, what, that's what happened there. So, Katie bar the door. We are getting some North Carolinaisms today, coach. And again, the defense playing on the to other Willie, side of football. To Willie with a big hit right there, man. Uh, you know, He'll be back he, next year. He'll be back next year. They got him fired up right there. He put a lick on that running back, man. He got everybody fired up. and uh, The guys are playing hard still. Now Dylan Smith in the ball game, yeah. the quarterback. Yeah, we got, uh, got a fullback down the sideline right here. And this guy made a good football play. Reached in there, punched it out. And uh, they recovered it, man. I tell you what. How does he avoid that happening, Coach? You got to hold on to it a little bit better. I mean, that's what the defense guys are taught to do that. You see them try it all the time, and they're not successful. This guy was successful. One, he probably didn't know he was there. 
But uh, and he's not used to having the ball in space like that mm -hmm. and carrying the football. So it can happen very easily when that happens, and that's what happened. Joseph Burke from Prattville, Alabama, and here's another kickoff opportunity for the Bulldogs. Gary Forrest looks yeah. like he can take one this too to many hour. cutbacks right here. Now put your foot in the right and go north and south right there. You know, one too many cutbacks right there. Uh, but it still was a good return back out to the 44-yard line. Coach, some people always ask, what's it mean to split the defenders? Uh, you know, just go right between them, go north and south, you know, uh, and then make those guys make a play. And that's Josh Cotwright, uh, third string quarterback in there with a nice run there. And here he's on a scramble hit. And good scramble, nice, good throw. Yeah, good scramble, good throw. We got a late hit on the quarterback to extend the drive. Um, so again, we're getting a lot of people in the game. Uh, this is um, Terrell Gardner. Terrell Gardner. I thought um, he was going to go all the way on that one, Coach. Yeah, he, he made some people miss. We got some good blocking by the receivers downfield. Now we're back on defense. And um, here they go, bringing some pressure. That's Ooh. Mike Edmonds right there, freshman wide receiver, coming off the edge. DeBastiani dialed up a blitz right there. He don't do that a lot, but he got a couple of them on his play, play sheet. I'm about to say, Coach, he just sprinted past the right tackle. Yeah, you know, he, he came from depth, and so his eyes wasn't on him. And, and we see several others. Right Ooh. here with a sack and a fumble. And then um, uh, 95 recovery there, uh, that's, uh, yeah, that's Parks. Parks recovered that, and uh, Cushions calls that sack. So those guys are playing, man. They not they're only, freshmen. Yeah, they're freshmen. Here's the end of the game right there. That's the hug. And After all the blicks being passed, it's always good to see that sportsmanship handshake at the end of the ball game, leave everything on the field, Coach. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's what it's all about. You know, you play hard as you can for 60 minutes and uh, and then you go out and you you, you congratulate them or, or they congratulate you on, on a job well done for that day. And uh, you know, this for us, fortunately, uh, they was congratulating us on this one. And they still have another game uh, Thursday at Alabama State in the Turkey Bowl. So their season ain't over, but ours is. And um, it was, it was uh, um, not a great season. Uh, but it was a winning season, and uh, we're getting the program back turned around. First winning season in 12, uh, since 2012. So happy for the seniors and the coaching staff and the program and the community and the university. And you mentioned the community, Coach. Thank you all for participating in the Bulldogs Canned Food Drive for Thanksgiving fed 25 needy families. When we come back, we'll take a look at recruiting in the final segment of 2018 on the Alabama A&M Football Review with head coach Connell Maynard. Hello, I'm Pastor Troy. The game of football is a lot like the game of life. You have to tackle your problems and block your fears. I just want you to know there is victory in Jesus. I want to invite you to worship with us at one of our anointed services at our Huntsville campus or our Madison campus. At the Fellowship of Faith, Jesus is exalted and the word is explained. We love Alabama A&M. Go Bulldogs! <laughs> Engineering and science usually look like this, but our students build race cars from the ground up, explore wind tunnels, particle accelerators, and crystal growth. Our studies in cybersecurity and rocket propulsion have tech companies like Google and SpaceX recruiting at Alabama A&M University with one of the highest percentages of women STEM graduates in the country. Alabama A&M University. Start here, go anywhere. 90.9 WJAB-FM Huntsville. 100,000 watts, 24 hours a day. Smooth jazz and cool vocals. And the home of mellow madness till midnight. You bring me joy. 90.9 WJAB. From the campus of Alabama A&M University. Daryl brings new energy to the power plant. Julian's accounting is by the numbers. There's student interns from the College of Business and Public Affairs at Alabama A&M University, where marketing class connects with the community and companies come to recruit. So while Kyle strengthens his managerial skills, he's earning a business degree and experience at Alabama A&M University. Start here, go anywhere.
welcome back to the Alabama A&M Football Review with head coach Connell Manor. We thank you for support in the 2018 season. Bulldogs played in front of over 50,000 fans this season in Lewis Cruz Stadium. Coach, but what's about to happen next for you? Uh, we got to hit, hit the road, man. We got to recruit. Uh, you got to beat down those roads and uh, get some more players in here. You know, you got early signing period. We'll probably get probably sign one one young man early signing period. But what early signing period does for FCS is, is the uh, FBS is going to sign their guys, and the guys that thought they were going to FBS going to realize they're not, and then we'll be able to get uh, mm. more players. So it's, it's going to really help FCS uh, a lot uh, with all these young men that are thinking they're going to FBS. They're going to know after the 19th that they're not, and then we'll have a chance to go out and recruit some more kids and get some better players in here. So that means you're going up and recruiting against Alabama, Auburn? Yep, uh, Clemson. Yeah, everybody. You know, ACC, Big Ten, uh, everybody. Uh, you know, we recruit the same kids they recruit. You know, if they can get them in, we can get them in. And so uh, we need those guys to go ahead and sign these guys early, and then we can, we can get the leftovers pretty much. Coach, a lot of people helped you this season. I know you want to thank a few folks. Yeah, I want to thank, uh, start off by thanking my, my coaches, uh, my assistant coaches, my coordinators, and, and the position coach. Those guys done a great job all year helping us to get to this point uh, of winning season. Um, um, the uh, athletic support from uh, Hicks, A.D. Hicks, uh, up top, the president. It takes everybody. It takes everybody to have a winning season, a championship season. Uh, the community, uh, the fans, uh, the alumni, you know, uh, the cafeteria. I mean, it <laughs> takes everybody, man. I'm telling you, it takes everybody. The gymnasiums, for lenders practice in the gymnasiums when it rains. You know, I want to thank everybody who had anything to do with it. Uh, Pastor Troy, all the churches that we went to this year. You know, we want to thank everybody for being a part of this thing. And everybody's a winner. The whole community, university, alumni, not just us and the football team. Um, so I want to thank everybody. Thank everybody for your help on the food drive and uh, feeding the hungry. And next year we look forward to feeding two or 300 families. Again, thank you for your support and thank you for watching the Alabama and m Football Review with head coach Connell Maynard. Happy holidays, be safe, and we will see you in 2019. Thank you.